This lesson, we're going to talk about the second part of subroutine, which is functions. So there are two main subroutines I need to know about, procedures and function. Now, the difference between a procedure and a function is that a function is a subroutine that returns a value. A procedure does not. Now, here is an example of a function. So we've got def name, exactly the same as when you create in a procedure. So name is the function name, def defines the function name. So def just stands for define. And then you open the parentheses, and then you close the parentheses, and you put a colon. And anything after the colon, which is indented, is going to be inside your function. So choice is equal to input. So here we've asked the user for a name. Then we're returned name, so return choice. Return choice will store the value of choice inside the function, and then it will exit the function and hand back the value to the call, which is in this case name. So the difference between a procedure, normally with a procedure you'd have just used the print command, print choice. But with a function, we use return. So in the exam, if you see return, it means it's a function, it's not a procedure, because a procedure cannot return a value. And then we've got print name and then open parentheses, close parentheses. So name is the function name, so that's how we call it. So if I run that in Python, we can see that it will ask for name. If I just type anything here, it will just display that specific name. Now, if I remove the print command, it will not do anything. So it will just, it will run the procedure, but it will not return. So the return value will be stored inside the function and the function will end, but will not display in anything on the screen. So if you put print name, this will run the function and also display the value of the return. So of the, of whatever being returned inside the function. So this is one of the few differences between a procedure and a function. Now you can also use parameters here. So rather than asking for a name, you can just type something here. Uh, let's say Tom, and then I can use choice as my parameter. So it's similar to procedure. So choice is the parameter and Tom is the argument. So Tom, is going to be passed all the way to choice and then when we return choice it will return Tom and then we print in Tom here. Now obviously this is a very short code and there is no point using a procedure or a function in this type of programs because it's very small. You can just put it in your main program but normally you would do it in the bigger programs but this is just so you can learn how to use functions properly. Okay, so next example, we've got another function. This one, this time is called multiply. And then we've got two parameters. So num1 and num2, they are the parameters. And then we have return answer. So return answer, now we know it's a function because it has return in it instead of print. And it says causes the function to exit and hand back the value of answer to its color. So answer will be handed, so whatever is stored inside the answer will be handed that down to multiply. So when we're, so the final line will call the function, it will run the function, and then at the end, it will also display the value of answer of whichever been returned. So in this case, it will display two times eight, which is 16. Now, similarities and differences between the two, function and procedures. So both functions and procedures are used to structure code, make the code easier to read, and it can also be used to create reusable components, reusable code. Now, however, the difference is, is that a function returns a value and a procedure does not. So that's the main difference between the two. Then we have global and local variables. So global variables are declared outside subroutines normally and they are accessible throughout the program. However, local variables are 
declared inside subroutines and they can only be accessed inside that specific subroutine. They cannot be accessed outside the subroutine. For example, here we have an example uh, of a function called question. So local variable is num because num is inside the function. Because it's inside the function, it means it's a local variable. Global variable is declared outside the function or procedure, which means that new number and new num, they're both called local ver global variables because they're not inside any functions or procedure. So they're not inside a subroutine. Here we have another example. We've got a def question. So we've got another procedure called question. Uh, well, uh, in, this, in this case, a function called question because it returns a value. So the local variable will be name because it's inside the subroutine and age is going to be the global one because it's not inside the function. 